so I'm getting ready to head in for the day. Um, I just decided to go ahead and start a segment called The Ride, right? Um, you know, where I just kind of spill out my thoughts on the way to work. Um, just trying to stay creative and just, just, just try different things, you know what I mean? I just want 2020 to be about more content, less excuses. So um, what was on my mind is that, you know, I just noticed that often throughout life, um, when I realized that I'm just having so much fun with it, like it's just those moments where I catch myself just enjoying life a little bit too much. I think we all had those moments and then you kind of like, you snap out of it for a second because you realize like, oh yeah, like, oh yeah, I'm still here on earth. This, this spinning ball, <laughs> like, um, maybe that's just a conscious mindset. But for me, I often just go to that place sometimes out of nowhere because, um, you know, I just know that, that grand level wisdom is knowing how to stay even keel no matter like what your life look like. So whether or not you down on your knuckles or you hit the fucking lottery, um, you want to just figure out how you can remain more even keel at all times, right? So like nothing really gets to you. So I just periodically noticed that, you know, I would just think about like life in general and the fact that, yeah, I'm living my best life and, and things are just going well for me. But it's still no time for me to really dwell, you know, just dwell too far in it because I know it's other people out here just going through shit. Um, this damn thing keep on turning. I'm gonna have to figure out how to adjust this. So um, just bear with me, y'all. But the main thing is the audio, obviously. So, but um, yeah, I was just, you know, just thinking about, uh, you know, the lives of other people. Um, everybody's not happy in this moment. Like, you know, as optimistic as I am on a random Monday, Everybody's not fortunate enough to be happy waking up today, you know, because of just different life shit that's happening or just different scenarios. Um, so it's like, you know, I feel like I have an obligation to just, you know, just keep putting out content for the people who just, you know, they're not where I am yet. You know what I mean? I don't even know if that makes sense. Like, because typically when you build an audience, you know, you want to reach out to more people like you, but I feel like my message is not it's not necessarily for people like me it's just for people on a similar path experiencing uh similar things so you know at the end of the day that's what i'm trying to unlock that's what i'm trying to figure out i'm just trying to figure out um you know what's the best way i can impact those people like i said who's not on the um you know they're not exactly where i am or they're not similar to me their people are just on a similar path so like I said, everybody can't be happy, right? It's just, I ain't gonna say the world is too big. It's just always something happening, you know what I mean? Like, here I am on my way to work in my car, comfortable, warm, you know what I mean? But somebody just got blew up in Iran. And then again, like here, here I am chilling, here, here goes a guy zooming past me because he just seem, can't seem to be patient, so. You just never know what people are experiencing in, in, this, in the world that's just so damn big. So it's like, man, your approach has to be a patient approach. Like, whatever you get out of this, man, this, this life experience, um, I think the goal should be to just to spend more time being fulfilled, just doing what fulfills you. So um, for me, I know that impact in other lives is for me that it's that feeling that's better than sex. I often mention that. I think that's just kind of what you have to look for. You have to look for an emotional response and a hobby that gives you a feeling that's better than sex. I think that's when you know you found something that's truly great or something that's tr that you're truly passionate about. So um, that's why I want to put out more content. You know, I think all of us have content ideas inside of us. Um, not all of us are willing to execute on it. But glory, you know, glory goes to the ones who decide to go ahead and do something about it. You know, this huge opportunity. You know, I had a conversation with one of my cousins, you know, we was talking about content. She uh, had been daring to start her YouTube channel for quite a while. Um. I just thought it was so amazing how we could have a conversation about the importance of putting out content and why she should start building her brand, you know, through 
whatever medium she chooses. Um, it was so interesting when we were having that conversation, but she, you know, still wasn't, you know, putting out content or still not going to put out content. So I guess that step is different for everybody. I decided what I'm going to do is just like, just talk about where I am in the journey. Uh, nothing else really matters outside of that. I'm encouraging more people to uh, build their brands on like, I'm not going to say bummy foundations, but I don't want my brand to be recognized for flashiness or any kind of money or any kind of, or any other brand, you know what I mean? So for example, I always talk about rappers, uh, Detroit rappers, you know, in order for them to keep their image up, they have to you know, portray these lifestyles and they have to wear certain types of fashion. And it could be tough trying to keep up with all of that you know, culture. Especially when the reality is that you fucked up and you perpetrating the whole time. You know, I always believe the term fake it till you make it. And I realize that's the mindset of a lot of people out here. Um, potholes. <laughs> but it's a mindset that's ultimately destroying us. You know, because we got so many people who want to, you know, they want to. You know, they portray a certain type of lifestyles and they want to fit in. But it's making them go to the extreme to to create that image or that facade. They're gonna have to forgive me for all the rumbling and shit. I'm just going over train tracks and shit. Um, maybe I can find some type of car stabilizer to make the camera more stable. But yeah, man, it was man. It's just it's just interesting, man. The thing that keeps people from just executing and. For me, I always wonder what execution looked like. I talked about it in a previous video. I'm like, damn, man, do I have to go knock on people's doors? Um, do I have to DM billions of people? You know, that's you know, that's the that's the radical way to go about it. You know, the extreme way of going about it. But the most practical way of executing it in 2020 and beyond is to communicate through content. Um, and it's best to stick to subjects and topics that you're passionate about. You know, because it's just gonna make your life easier in the end. You know, if you stand in your lane, nobody can really tell you nothing. You know exactly what the fuck you're talking about. So, um, like I said, I was just gonna start this, you know, just start this little, uh, I guess you can call it a car podcast. <laughs> a little car podcast where I just keep the camera rolling on my way to work. I actually plan on getting some uh, shots at work as well, which means that I'm going to have to get these clips posted fast because I don't want these, this content just sitting on my phone and, you know, just taking up space. So, you know, if anybody out there, you know, you struggle with that, you know, I'm always low on uh, storage. You got to get rid of that content quick, man. I'll be keeping it in the chamber and shit. Let it go. So, um... You know, when I put this video out or like when I put my video at work out today, I'm probably more than likely, you know, not going to do a lot of edits because I want to keep it simple. The simpler I can keep it, the easier it is to produce the content, which is um, why I recently uh, made a decision to get rid of captions. You know, um, you know, I decided that, you know, captions do bring more value to my audience, but uh it, it slows me down as far as communicating. So I'm gonna just have to make that sacrifice for now. I think it's funny as soon as I posted a video about, you know, my first video of the new year without captions, I was, you know, hoping nobody noticed, but you know, somebody called me out on it right away. Um, actually a friend of mine, he called me out on it right away. Like, what the hell were your captions at? So I'm like, fuck. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm nobody. Nobody gives a fuck about me. Nobody's really watching. So this is the best time right now for me to switch shit up, uh, get adjusted, change shit. I want to get better with my graphics and shit like that. I want to get better with my overall edits um, just to make my videos more engaging. But I need to get that content out as quick as possible. So that's a good thing for y'all. Bad for my mental, but a good thing for y'all. Y'all get more content. Yeah, I had an interesting conversation with a friend of mine too, you know, over the weekend that I wanted to talk about. He mentioned being at work. 
and being on break and just being in this car by itself, thinking, reflecting on life and um, just breaking out into tears. And I just couldn't help but feel him in that moment. Like I, I've been there before, um, feeling like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Like, am I worth it? You know, I've been there. I know where he, you know, I know how he felt. So it just made me think like, man, dog, like, I know this guy's heart, man. I don't know what he's done in his past, but I know his heart and I know his intentions are good. And he deserves it more than anybody. Because, you know, the work that he puts in for himself, I see him put the work in. And I don't want to sit up there and be cliche and tell him, look, man, it's going to be all right, bro. Like, you know, soon you'll be done with that job. You'll be where you want to be. But that's not, you know, that's not, that's not always reality for everybody. You know, it's easy for me to sit up and say that, be positive, be optimistic. But I can't, I can't speak for another man. I can't tell him, it's, oh yeah, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna work out. Uh, but I'm hoping that he keeps the faith. I'm hoping that he stays positive because I know that's what's key. And that's why I'm doing this video. I hope, you know, I, I know he's subscribed to the channel. So I hope he even sees this video and understand, bro. Like, um, man, as long as you spend your time trying, you can go to the grave satisfied, bro. Like, I just want you to know, bro, you try, man. A lot of people, you know, 60 year olds 70 year olds haven't even had the nerve to go after what they want haven't you know dared to be laughed at or be seen have their content uh commented on everybody's not ready for that lifestyle yet bro so i just want to remind you like you got a reason to be patient man like something will shape something will shape but it's all about the mindset that you carry while you wait you know that's where really where all the work is done. Like performing in your craft is easy, but staying even keel here and you know, regardless to what your reality is showing you, staying even killed in the mind and just staying positive is the gateway. Op optimism is the gateway. You know? So that was another reason why I just wanted to just put out more content because I just I'm like, you know, how can I inspire this man? How can I get what I'm trying to accomplish to happen just, just more rapidly, you know? Just more faster. You know, I'm patient. I don't care if this takes the next five, 10 years for me to, you know, really get where I'm trying to be and impact people on the level that I'm trying to impact them on. But um, I know the harsh reality is, and I just seen a, a post about this. You know, all of us want to, you know, people who got good relationships with their parents all of us want to make our moms and dads proud before they exit earth and that's another thing i often reflect on like you know i know my mom doesn't have the best health habits so uh you know she probably won't be a hundred but i'll be optimistic and say she may, might make it to 90 but either way i'm enjoying the time we have now and i hope she's around to see what i've accomplished and you know see the the fruits of my labor to show her like look ma look look what happened look what happened because we believe you know and I know that's probably the feeling that all y'all have you know all of us who want to do something for people that we love like we want them to be around long enough to, to at least witness unfortunately the reality is you know everybody can't be around you know, I think that's the thing that keeps us so antsy too, wanting us to, you know, the reason why we want to crush it so fast and want to accomplish our goals and dreams right right now um, is because that, that time scarcity, we know we don't have all the time in the world with our loved ones and they're the ones that we want to share our accomplishments with. But, um, you know, knowing that that time is so limited, it probably keeps a lot of people anxious. You know, a lot of people want those get rich quick schemes. And, like I said, I'm not on nothing that makes, that's trying to make money right now. Like I'm just putting out free content and you know, if a brand recognize what I've been able to, to build, so be it. But if not, I'm satisfied with the, the inboxes I get here and there. Uh, people just telling me that the message is reaching them and, and it's impacting them and it's, and it's helping them make better decisions. You know, nothing, nothing I value more. So, 
first day of work, 2020. You know, I'm back with a new mindset. I had a week off. Stronger mindset. Time to just reflect on where I'm at and where I want to go ultimately. But I understand that the universe has me where it has me right now. And it has you where it has you right now. For the greater good of the whole, not just yourself. So, you know, I know it's coworkers that I work with whose lives I impact every single day. And for all I know, I could just be playing a, a small part in something bigger for their lives, you know. I often ask myself, why am I still here? So, like I said, me being less selfish and letting it, you know, just letting them just coming in and impacting where I can and making a difference where I can and just knowing that ultimately things will shake for me. So I think this 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 keeping the camera shit rolling is, is kind of fun, you know. I just you know we all imagine one day having our own or what what would it what it would be like having our own reality TV show. So here's my reality TV show. You know, I know this wasn't possible, you know, 15 years ago. It wasn't even possible, man. Especially for the average person. But here we are, man. The world is digital now. So, you know, I think it's interesting that. I mentioned this before that Gary, you know, he encourages people to not watch his content. Stop consuming so much of it. It's okay to watch it, don't over consume it. So like anybody who's watching this, you know, just wasting time, just <laughs> you know, when you know it's something that you could be executing on, turn this video off, man, and just get on it. Just get to it. There's no better feeling than knowing that you, you know, you're moving in that direction towards where you ultimately want to be no better feeling in life so go ahead and turn off this podcast or turn off this video and uh, go make it happen for yourself so uh, you know that's it for this morning's rant though let me know what y'all think you know I care about the feedback from the people that I respect so let me know if y'all want more. Even if y'all don't, I don't really give a fuck. I'm gonna be dropping them anyway. <laughs> but I still wanna hear what y'all think, so. Um, have a strong Monday out there, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next episode.